BoxingScene.com with the recognized Walter Waite and Pound for Pound world champion Floyd Mayweather Jr. who will be facing Ricky Hatton on December 8th at the MGM Grand. So, Floyd, first off, we heard you on Hot 97 this morning. How was that experience with Ed Lover? No, I've been on there before. I mean, of course, this is um, routine for me uh, to, be in, uh, to be in huge fights and uh, uh, do different talk shows. It's a, part of the, it's a part of my job, so I take my job extremely serious. And, um, you know, some days it's fun, some days it's grueling, but it comes with the territory. Besides being a fighter and a promoter, now you're an owner of an uh, energy drink. Tell us about that, and when can people expect that? Well, you know, I don't, I don't want to let the people know exactly what the name is right now. We, we're taking time. Everything's in, in process. But the main thing right now we're focused on is um, uh, the different things that we're doing. Um, it's, it's, I feel great just to be a young entrepreneur uh, in the sport of boxing that's able to uh, branch off and... Uh, get involved with uh, different different avenues and different fields out there in the world. The last fighter to, to play another sport and, and box on the same night was Roy Jones. You have surpassed him in, in many things. Uh, you were involved in Dancing with the Stars uh, before your fight with Ricky Hatton. Well, I, think Roy, I think Roy Jones is one, you know, and, and he's still one hell of an athlete, one hell of a guy. I mean, I'm not trying to break Roy Jones' record. I'm just trying to just be me, be Floyd Mayweather. And, uh, Entertain for the people. Show them that I can uh, accomplish uh, uh, two big challenges in my life around the same time. And the challenge is the challenge is about pushing yourself to the limit. And that's something that Floyd Mayweather uh, strives high for. Is pushing himself to the limit. You announced your retirement, a short one. What was it that made you come out to face Ricky Hatton? The love for the sport of boxing. It's really not the money, cause. I box because I want to, not because I have to, but the money has been not great, but tremendous. And the fan, the fan support has been tremendous. And the world uh, finally take notice and know that um, I do numbers. I mean, you've seen I broke the record. Uh, my last fight, uh, May 5th, uh, uh, that was me that broke that record. And fight sold out, sold out in 10 minutes the other day. So I do numbers. I just want the fans to uh, continue to... Uh, uh, watch Floyd Mayweather, support Floyd Mayweather, su support Floyd Mayweather, and, and anything we get involved with, if it's uh, sports and entertainment, uh, one, of, one of Al Heyman uh, uh, concerts or uh, tour that he's doing, um, what, uh, you know, Leonard and Al, my team is just is, is unreal, and I'm just blessed just to be in a, a situation that I'm in. Do you think Ricky Hatton brings any, anything to the table to make this a competitive fight? I really don't know, man. I don't like I said. These guys don't. I mean, I'm not sweating. You know, I know what I have to do. So, and I'm pretty sure this guy's gonna go out there and, and train his hardest, but and train his best. But his best still is not gonna be good enough because, I mean, he's, he have. I mean, what he been in a, a few, a few champ, a couple championship fights, been in 18, 19 championship fights. So, cause a guy can be a hundred and zero, and I can be twenty and zero. But if I if I've been in there with guys who have have more experience. That means I have more experience. And, um, I, I mean, over the years, you've seen I beat the best from every country. Now, this is the, this the best that Britain has to offer. And, and, and the Britain fans are extremely uh, good boxing fans. But I know what I can do. And I'm going to go out there and uh, display my talent, display my ability, and just be the best that I can be. It's obvious the tickets are sold out. It's going to be a full arena. But tell the people why they should purchase the pay-per-view and watch this fight between you and Ricky Hatton. Uh, you got uh, uh, a young fighter from uh, uh, Britain who's hungry. And I, and I feel that he really, he really wants the victory over me. He's 43-0. Um, and it, it, uh, the fight has a... Uh, it, it, the name of the fight is just great. You know, undefeated. I, I'm undefeated. He's undefeated. Uh, but when Ricky Hatton was just getting his career started, Floyd Mayweather was world champion. Uh, so, I mean, I'm just going to continue to uh, rack up victories. But uh, it's going to be blood, sweat, and tears. I know he's going to bring his A game. And uh, I can bring my C game and still give you excitement. And Floyd, I know you're tired from all the tours and press conferences, and we really appreciate your time. Thank you and good luck. Thank you. God bless. Um, continue, continue to support this site and uh, support all sites. Uh, boxing sites. Uh, boxing is the future. The past, the present, and the future, and boxing is here to stay. Thanks.